In this video, I'm going to talk about scalable capital, how you can set up your profile on it, how to buy stocks and ETFs, and more recently, how you can buy cryptocurrencies on scalable capital. I'll go through the user interface and how you can do different things on the platform. Hey friends, my name is Essen. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, I'm a researcher based in Germany. And on this channel, we discuss and explore different strategies that can help us achieve our financial freedom. If you don't already have a scalable capital account, I have a video here where I go through with you step by step on how you can register with scalable capital. All right, now that you've registered with scalable capital, let's open up the app and see how the user interfaces so here's how the scalable capital app looks like you can also use scalable capital on your desktop when you open the app on the top left corner you have the amount of money that you have in your account on the right you can see the profit or loss for the day below that you have the payments below that you usually have some sort of promotion going on like right now you can win up to 5000 euros in cryptocurrencies if you tell a friend about scalable capital and if they join so you can use this referral program to get up to 5000 euros next the new feature that scalable capital has launched and that is the cryptocurrencies we'll talk about that in a little bit and after that you have your watch list at the bottom you have your different options for selecting the broker cryptocurrencies finding or searching something and your profile so before i go into the other things let's just go into our profile and set up certain things that are really important that everyone should do before they start investing so let's go to the profile here we have our name our mailbox personal information tax information in the mailbox you'll get all of the important letters and informations so make sure you check out the information our contact address our contact details and our bank account most people ask me that is it absolutely necessary that i send money into my scalable capital account through the IBN number or the account that I added during the registration process. Yes, it is really necessary that you use the same account. And if you want to change it, you can go into the bank account option and change it here. Next, we go into the tax information. Here we can set up our tax allowance. So this tax allowance is 801 euros tax free profit for individuals and 1602 euros profit for married or partnered couples. And as I said, this is going to be tax free. So any profit that you get by selling your stocks up to 801 or 1602 euros, you will not be taxed. So to do that, simply go to set up tax allowance, select if you're single or you're going to use the joint tax declaration, whichever is necessary, give out your salutation and provide details for your partner. Here you'll have to provide your partner's name, their date of birth, email address and tax identification number. After adding all of these details, you will get an overview of the tax exemption order. Make sure the information is correct and then click on in that now your tax exemption has been set up. If you're liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Next, we're going to go in the find option. Here we can search different kinds of stocks, ETFs, cryptocurrencies and funds. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about stocks, ETFs and cryptocurrencies. So as you can see here, you can search through the most popular prime ETFs on scalable capital in terms of world emerging markets, USA, Germany and future technologies. So we can go and click on world and here we have different options available. And if you see a P, these are the prime ETFs from Scalable Capital. You can also use the search bar. Next, we're going to search for the S&P 500 information technology sector. And in the search option, you'll get a different variety of ETFs having the same name. For example, here I'm getting the iShares MSCI World Information Technology sector for 9 euros and 12 cents. I'm also getting it for 19 euros 25 cents from iShares. I'm getting one from Lixor for 577 euros from X trackers is going to be 120 euros and so on and so forth from different kinds of ETF providers. Each of these ETFs is being provided by a different ETF provider. For example, iShares, Lixor, X trackers, etc. The main difference is going to be the total expense ratio. So to view the total expense ratio, you can simply scroll down and click on key investor information. In the key investor information, you'll get a PDF file of all of the important information from this specific ETF. So the main thing that you should always look into is the total expense ratio. And here the total expense ratio from the iShares information technology sector ETF is going to be 0.15%. You can compare different ETF providers and see which provider is giving you the least amount of expense ratio. So the next thing is buying an ETF. So there are two things that you can do. Number one is you can directly buy that ETF and number two is set up a savings plan. So if you want to buy an ETF directly, 
you just need to go and click on buy. Here you'll get an option of how many stocks or ETFs that you want to buy. So today we're going to just buy one ETF. So we're going to write down 20 euros. On the top left corner, you'll see an option of buying from the Munich Stock Exchange. So you can click that and see if there are any other options available. So after clicking that, we see that it's going to be through München and from Zetra. So if you buy from uh, München, it's going to be free of charge from 250 euros and uh, with Zetra you have to buy for 3 euros 99 plus trading cost. So I think it's better to use the Borze München. So we're going to click that and we're going to go and click on place order. Next we can set up a stop or a limit. When you set up a stop order, the stop order is only executed when the price of the stock reaches a certain value. In the limit order, we say that if the price is within this limit, we can always execute it. For example, if a stock value is at $20 right now and we set up a limit order of 19 euros. So the execution of that order will only execute at $19 and not more. And if you do not set up any of these, your order will be executed without consideration of a stop order or a limit order. We click next and here we get a message that the volume of this order is below 250 euros execution. A fee of 99 cents will be charged. The fee will be debited from your reference account. So if you want, you can either increase your order to 250 euros in order to save this one euro or you can set up a prime account from scalable capital which can cost you three euros per month or you can just click on confirm and pay this 99 cents per execution so i'm going to click on confirm it took a couple of seconds and now the order has been executed and you can click on close now if you scroll down you'll see that you have your position and right now we have a loss of 0.01 euros that's not a big thing and if you scroll down we'll get all of the transaction history here we'll see that we have bought a single etf for 19 euros and 25 cents the next thing is that we can also set up a savings plan so to do that just click on set up now you can set up a savings plan from 10 euros onwards so here you do not have to buy a whole stock or ETF. You can also buy fractional shares. If you want to know more about fractional shares, I have a video here. Here we're going to set up a savings plan for 10 euros. So we're going to put in 10 and click on continue. Next, we'll get our order overview. So here we can see our savings rate, which is going to be 10 euros. Next is going to be the frequency. So if we click on frequency, we have three options, a monthly, every two months or quarterly. So this means exactly what it says. This order will only execute once a month if you select monthly, twice a month if you select every two months and quarterly, it will execute once every quarter. So I'm going to click on monthly and click on save. The next is execution day. Here we have nine different days to choose from. This is going to be the exact date when your order gets executed. So you can select whichever date you think is going to be suitable for you. But for this example, I'm going to click on the first of every month. Next, I can select an option of from which month should the execution start. So I'm going to click on January and click on save. The next option is going to be inflation protection. Here we can increase the savings amount automatically. So if we set up 2% per annum, this execution is going to change from 10 euros to 10.02 euros after the next year. So have a look into it if you want to have inflation protection or not. And you can select from 2, 3 and 5%. But here I'm going to keep it inactive. And the final option is the payment. You can either pay through your cash that you have in your account and the second option is going to be a direct payment order or through SEPA. So based on how you want to set up your savings order, you can select whichever option is suitable for you. So here I'm going to select the cash balance available and click on save. Once you've checked all of these options, you can click on activate savings plan. Now the savings plan has been created and you can click on close. That being said, you can always modify or delete your savings plan. Let's just modify our savings plan really quickly. So we go back and click on 10 euros per month and we can select whichever option we want. So uh, I can change the amount from 10 to 15 or whatever. So I'm going to change to 15 and I can change the frequency date and all of the option again. So we can click on save or update savings plan. And now the plan has been updated to 15 euros instead of 10. If you're liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Same thing applies for stocks. So if we search for an individual stock, for example, in this case, I'm going to search for Apple. We can set up a savings plan or we can directly buy that stock. So if we go back, search for Apple and click on buy, we can directly buy one Apple stock for 156 euros or we can set up a savings plan and start from 10 euros onwards. 
Let's go into the cryptocurrency option. At the moment, Scalable Capital only provides Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. Let's go and select Bitcoin. Similar to stocks and ETFs, you can also directly buy that cryptocurrency or you can set up a savings plan. But unlike stocks and ETFs, you do not have to buy a whole Bitcoin you can start from a minimum of 45 euros. So if we go and click on buy, let's give 45 euros and click on prepare order. Here we can again set up a stop order or a limit order. But if you do not want, you can simply click on buy now and now your order will be executed. Let's scroll down a little bit and see that our position is at 44.43 euros and the rest of the amount has been cut. This is going to be the spread that we are paying scalable capital for our order execution. Similarly, you can set up a savings plan for buying different cryptocurrency. So here we're going to set up a 50 euros per month saving order for Bitcoin. So we put in 50 euros and click on continue. Again, similar to ETFs and stocks, we can select our savings rate, frequency, execution, inflation protection and payment method. Select whichever is suitable for you and click on activate savings plan. And now you have created your Bitcoin savings plan. Now, when we go back to our broker home screen, we can see our portfolio. And in our portfolio, we have our SMB 500 information technology ETF and our Bitcoin worth 45 euros. If you have any other questions, please write them down in the comments below. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Click here if you're new to stocks and cryptocurrencies. And here, if you want to know about nine ways you can increase your income in Germany. Bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.